So right, this is how quick and how easy it is to put the Bosch Smart Thermostatic Radiator Valves on. Uh, earlier, or later last week, late last week, we put um, a Worcester Bosch 8,050 kilowatt combination boiler in with an easy control as well. We've got the easy control downstairs and now we've just got hold of these to put them on. Take the old TRV off. This is the new one. Out the packet, everything we've got in here. First thing I do is I just get everything ready. You'll go into the app, go into the Bosch app now. And then get me to connect to it. As soon as we're connected, we'll just go. I'm doing this just to, so as you can see. So you can see at the moment, these are ones we've already added over the last sort of half an hour. And the good thing is it actually gives you the temperatures in the rooms, the actual temp, what the temperature is in that room at the moment. And then we would click on the lounge, say, and then if I was to turn it up here, it would then bring that radiator on in the lounge. And then it would even let me know there that that room's calling for heat lock, you see? Anyway, so to add a new one now, we go into settings. From settings, we go to devices. And then from devices, I'll press edit, add device. And then we've taken the battery compartment off the TRV. And all as we do now, we take a picture of that barcode there. Didn't like that, did it? Try it again. There we go. So we can now add the new room, which we've done. So this one is actually on the landing. So we'll put landing, you can actually put emojis in as well, which we've done. Then you can choose a little, what would the landing be here? Maybe this one. Hit the next button and then we are away. So now I'm just gonna pop my phone down and I'm gonna put the batteries in the smart thermostat and then I shall show you, you'll see straight away then comes up, it's there. So that now, is, once that stops moving, it's ready to go on the radiator. In the meantime, you get your adapter. These are Razda combis, that's the adapter for this one. All you do, you just click it on and then put the, there's a small screw and nut in. Get a little screwdriver, pop it in like so, screw it up, and that's what you do. No need to over tighten it. Once we've done that, pop the back onto the smart TRV and you just screw it on like so. So now you just get it in situ, and I think it's quite important here that these only go finger tight. Do not get a pair of grips anywhere near it. Top tip. <laughs> like so. So once it's on the radiator there now, you press the button at the back. You've got a plus and minus to turn the radiator valve up now, but you press that zero button. And then if you, you can actually hear the servo going now. You should be able to hear that servo. And then that's just calibrating now. And then as soon as it's calibrated, can take anything up to 90 seconds. And then you look on the app and then you can see the landing is hit there. We've just installed it on the landing. Happy days. Now we're gonna move on to the radiators downstairs. Boom.